Uh, no, a very sensitive subject this morning, an often overlooked part of pregnancy, postpartum depression, a mental health condition that develops after giving birth. Hamish, McGoffin's wife, took her own life and the life of their young son, Arthur, back in 2021. He's been raising awareness on the subject by running the equivalent of two marathons a day for two weeks straight, spanning the very top to the very bottom of the British Isles. And he's with us now. Hi. Good morning. Hi, Hamish. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us on the programme this morning. Tell us about what you've been doing, first of all. Sure. Yeah, so um, after we, we lost my, my wife and son, for me, it was all about just sort of putting one foot in front of the other. And so getting out, going for walks and runs was my way of coping with the loss. And in doing so and, and doing the run and uh, trying to get some good out of such a terrible tragedy, setting up the Pranaya and Arthur McGoffin Foundation to try and help those that suffer from uh, postpartum depression and other peripartum mental health illnesses. Okay, tell me what happened to the family. Um, so my, my wife developed uh, so postpartum depression, PPD, uh, soon after giving birth. And in the midst of the, the lockdown, not being able to go outside and uh, the pressures and anxieties uh, that came with COVID, um, uh, things started to, to, to get worse. And my wife was someone who was very happy, easygoing, uh, carefree person, never had any previous mental health illnesses. We didn't have any of the usual risk factors, no financial or relationship issues. And so it, it really emphasized to me how much of a biological condition this is. And it is something that affects uh, a lot of women. There is a spectrum, but the figures are as high as, as one in six. And so ultimately, unfortunately, despite getting onto it early and seeing psychiatrists, trying a range of different therapies, she decided that the only way out was um, the, the way that, that, that she did um, ending her life and, and Arthur's early. Sadly, you lost both your wife and indeed your child as well. You, you met, I think, some time ago. You're from Australia. Your wife was from Thailand. You decided to um, settle in Thailand. And from what you're saying, that you know, it's very difficult to know there's no warning signs as far as you're concerned about what happened what would your advice be to others who are perhaps concerned although you know you, you weren't concerned because you, you couldn't see what was going to happen yeah so i i had a friend of ours give us just a, a bit of warning when, when i gave birth saying look out for pbd you know there's a, a few people that have been affected by it and so it was, was on our radar. And as soon as Pranaya sort of started to, to feel a bit different and say some things that were not her, then it sort of an alarm went off. And soon thereafter, we reached out to a psychiatrist. Um, in, the, in the UK, there, uh, it's more common to, to be aware of this. And this was um, an English friend who, who brought this up. But there's still a lot of resources required, I think, an awareness that, that can be brought to understanding not just uh, the depression aspect, but there are postpartum anxieties and other peri peripartum mental health illnesses that, that we should be aware of. Running the length of Britain must have been a very daunting task. Which was the most challenging part? Uh, after about day four, uh, things started to go a bit awry and I developed an infection in my leg and swelling in my feet and legs and had to switch to a bike for a part of the way. But ultimately, the, the goal was thinking about, okay, well, why am I here? Why am I doing this? And, and trying, to, trying to continue and trying to reach the, the goal by the, the end date. And so mixing up with, with bike and running and then towards the end, uh, doing the, the final bits on foot. Uh, it was, I mean, 70 over 17 days, that's a long time to be doing sort of 12 plus hours physical activity per day. And so at the end, it was nice to mix the motions to get that done, but now thinking about, okay, what comes next? Yeah, so how do people, help support you if they'd like to? So we set up the, there's a charity here, the Pranay and Arthur McGoffin Foundation. Uh, website is pamfoundation.org, P-A-M. And we're going through uh, setting that up and having 
what we're calling three pillars. The first being awareness about PPD and perinatal uh, mental health conditions and education. The second being providing additional quantity and quality of resources of care. And then the third being research into so therapeutics, diagnostics, and understanding more of the risk factors. Okay. And so hey. that's... Yeah. Go on, Hamish, go on. I was just going to say, so that's that's generally what the, the foundation will be doing. And whilst sort of split between here and Thailand, it, this is a global issue. It, there are no boundaries. It is largely biological and something that affects everybody in every country. Okay, Hamish, um, we are, of course, very sorry for your loss. Um, I'm pleased that you've been able to find uh, some distraction from what happened to you while helping others. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.